Chargers know they need a lot of help as it's been a very rough start to the season. And they're going to make their first trade at the deadline. Don't know if it'll be their last, but they're planning for the future with this trade. Trading a second, a fourth, and a fifth this year to get defensive end Willis Lele. Lele, I'm not sure, from the Bills. With Melvin Ingram and Solomon Thomas both on the last year of their contracts, the Chargers know they need to plan ahead when it comes to the D line. And looking at Willis Lele, he's very fast, but he's still very raw. And he has that superstar development trait. So he certainly can improve very quickly. Another trade the Chargers are going to make is a fourth round pick and Gilbert Yancey Jr. to the Rams for Jonathan Ward. As the Chargers have three offensive linemen out with injury, so they need to get someone to who, who's pretty good. Jonathan Ward, who was a former first round pick, has lost a lot of playing time in LA due to the signing of Joe Tooney. And I don't really know if he's going to start when all of the offensive linemen come back. As Ward, former first round pick, a player who the Chargers really liked coming out of college and actually almost drafted him, but instead they took Miles Ellerby, who is out. He's only going to be out for one more game, though. But Grayson Worthington and Gordon Sturgeon are both going to be out for longer. The Lewis Jackson has been extremely unreliable this year, so I think the Chargers did a pretty good job this trade deadline. Not trading away too much to get two very talented young players. Welcome to Sunday Night Football as we have an AFC Championship rematch from last year. The 2-4 and four Chargers are going to take on the 2-3-1 and one New England Patriots. As both teams have been disappointing as the Chargers had a very promising year last year. The Patriots won the Super Bowl. But it makes a little bit of sense for the Patriots since they did just lose Tom Brady to retirement. But it doesn't really make much sense for the Chargers as they're a very young and good team. They just haven't been winning games. The Patriots quarterback this year is Carson Palmer, so it's, it's kind of makes sense why they're struggling. He's probably about 95 years old by now. But the Chargers, they were playing well last week. They were up 24-7 to at halftime against the Raiders, and they choked it all away. They let a rookie quarterback who's never played an NFL game come back and beat them. The second half was not pretty for the Chargers. If any, both teams need to start winning, and winning quickly. If they want to stay alive in the playoff hunt. The Chargers offense right now is a mess. It's the offense hasn't played bad, but they have five starters out of injury. That's almost half of the unit as on third down. Conway looking. Finds Rashad Pickney. Pickney is a first down. Beautiful tackle there, but I think that's Devin McCourty. As Pickney definitely would have been able to get a touchdown with his blazing speed. But still a big play on third down. It is third and 13 for the Chargers at about the 41-yard line. As Conway... Looking up the middle for Pickney. Pickney. First down, Pickney. There goes Rashad Pickney. And this is why he is one of the most dangerous players in the NFL. Touchdown Chargers is Malcolm Butler. I'm assuming that's Malcolm Butler. Was ain't unable to catch up to him, but can anyone catch up to this guy? Because he is like Usain Bolt's beat. Here comes out the Charger defense and Carson Palmer, who's been in the NFL for like 19 or 20 years now. As Palmer will hand it off to the second year running back, Fernando Briscoe, who fumbles the football, and the Chargers pick it up. Keanu Neal with a force, and Solomon Thomas with the recovery. It's been a very good start for Los Angeles. A touchdown drive in the very first defensive play was a Fernando Briscoe fumble recovered by Los Angeles. That's a clear fumble. Uh, there's that going to be reviewed. Beautiful tackle. By the free agent acquisition, Keanu Neal. It almost looked like Briscoe's elbow hit the ground, but that doesn't matter. As the Chargers, there was no review. And it's third and 19 at the 46 is Conway. He's going to look deep for Mike Williams. You don't cover Mike Williams one-on-one. -on -one. I'm sorry, Stephon Gilmore, but you just got mossed. Touchdown, Chargers. Very good start for Los Angeles. Two touchdowns, both on third down. It has not been an easy day. For New England on either side of the ball yet. But we've not seen much of their offense. So let's see what this unit can do. As on second down, Palmer. He's going to be intercepted by Leonard Worrell. What has this game been so far? Three plays and two turnovers. That was just a bad pass. Great awareness by Worrell. The Chargers get the football right back. This has been a beating so far. We're not even four and a half minutes into the game. The Chargers have two touchdowns so far and have forced two turnovers. He's on third down, Conway. He will look for Robbie Anderson, and Robbie Anderson's going to get it on the fun as every Charger wide receiver so far 
has a touchdown. First quarter is now over, and so far it's been an Adrian Peterson, Ray Rice, Ezekiel Elliott, and Joe Mixon like beating. Why do all the running? Why are all the running backs like child and women beaters? Anyway, first and ten. As Palmer finds a wide open receiver, I think that's Rashad Green. Yeah, it is. The Patriots offense is starting to move it down the field a little bit. They're playing a little bit better, so they're probably not going to lose 84 to nothing. As it's a handoff for Fernando Briscoe. Briscoe is blocked. Briscoe is a first down. No, he doesn't. He is a touchdown for the Patriots. As Briscoe, just after the fumble, he's played a lot better. And the Patriots have played better as the game has gone on as well. Despite the fact that the Chargers offense is playing really well, it's only been one unit. The running unit has not played well at all as Kamara has really struggled so far. But the passing offense has continued to dominate as Patrick Mays now bossing Devin McCourty. And the Chargers are in the red zone. The Chargers were able to get a field goal and they are up 24-7. Last week they were up 24-7 at halftime and they blew it, so... Hopefully for the Chargers, that doesn't repeat as it'll be a pass to Gronk. Gronk has a first down. Gronk has blocks. There goes Gronk. And the Patriots are definitely back in this game. Touchdown, New England. If the Chargers offense can just keep on rolling, then uh, there's no chance this lead's going to get blown. As fake handoff for Kamara. Conway. Looks like he's trying to go for a screen, but it doesn't work. As Trey Flowers gets the sack, Mike Williams was heavily covered. It is third and six at the 40-yard line. Conway and Kamara in the backfield. As Conway. He's under pressure. He's going to be sacked again by Trey Flowers. He has been dominant in the first half. And the Chargers are going to Second down, Joey Bosa got hurt. So I guess it's a good thing that the Chargers traded for Lele. As he's going to be in the game. As I'm third and eight, Palmer. Fake handoff, Palmer. He has all day to throw, and he finds a wide open Rashad Green, who gets to about the 50, and there's another injury. Joey Bosa will be out for the game with a strained shoulder, but he should be good to go next week, which is good for the Chargers as it's stared down for New England. Palmer under pressure, looking short for Cooks. Cooks has spin moves. Cooks breaking tackles gets to the 10. It is second and goal on the three-yard line. As Palmer will hand it off for Fernando Briscoe, and he gets his second touchdown in the game, and the Patriots really do have a chance of coming back in this game. The Chargers offense has played okay in the second quarter, but nowhere near as good as it was in the first quarter. As the Chargers have three timeouts, which is good for them. As Conway looking for Robbie Anderson. Anderson first down. No one near him. No one in front of him, and the Chargers are going to start this drive with an easy touchdown. Anderson, second of the game, finally gets in, trying to take some time away from New England. Touchdown, Chargers. Here comes back out of the Patriot offense, 33 seconds left, and three timeouts. As Palmer, looking, finds an open receiver, and that'll be a first down past the 40-yard line. It is second and 10 at the 38 for New England, 23 seconds left in the first half. As Palmer and Briscoe in the backfield. Palmer's going to pass. Palmer looking short for Cooks. Cooks jukes a defender. There goes Brandon Cooks. And he's going to get another touchdown. What has this game been? The first half is in the books. And after a 21-0 Chargers lead, the Patriots have just made it a three-point game. As the first half is over. And the Chargers are a team that's known for blowing leads. So let's see if... They're going to blow a lead for a second consecutive week. In the second quarter, I thought I was watching the NBA All-Star game, but this is a football game, so I can't, I couldn't have, as it's fair to 18 for New England. Almost a little jump from Ingram is Palmer. Looking to pass, he's looking deep, and he's going to be intercepted by the safety, Marcus Williams. The Chargers are going to have bad field position, but a nice turnover giving their defense some much-needed momentum. Third and 11, the Chargers need a first down as for offense. It certainly came back to earth. The offense is still playing well, but nowhere near as well in the first quarter. Or as it was in the first quarter, Conway under a lot of pressure, but Mike Williams still gets the first down to the 46. James Brandstater going for a 57-yard field goal as the rookie has been very good so far. Only one missed field goal, and will that be a second missed field goal? No, it will not as James Brandstater will nail it 
57 yards, and the Chargers are up by 6. It is second and 9 for New England at the 43-yard line. Briscoe and Palmer in the backfield. Palmer will pass it. Palmer. He has all day. No, he doesn't. He's going to be sacked by Willis Lele. His first sack as a Charger in his first Charger game. It is second and 10 at the 25. This is the fourth quarter now underway. Chargers up by six as Palmer. He's under pressure, and he's going to be sacked. Melvin Ingram and Willis Lele with the sack. Big play on second down, making it third and 19 at the 16 for New England. As Palmer, fake handoff, Palmer. He's going to look deep. He's going to find an open receiver. It's Rashad Green who gets the Patriot first down. It is the seventh play of the drive. It's seven and a half minutes left on first down. Palmer looking to pass it. Palmer finds a wide open receiver. And it's Brandon Cooks who's in the red zone. It is first and five of the 13 after a neutral zone infraction penalty by the Chargers. As Palmer looking, finds Cooks. Touchdown, New England. And they're going to take the lead. The Chargers have once again choked a gigantic lead. It is first down to 37 for the Chargers. A little over six minutes left in regulation as Conway under pressure. And he's going to be brought down by Elandon Roberts. Big play for New England. Big play right here. Third and 22. 535 left in the game as Conway. He's going to look for Mike Williams. One on one. Actually one on two coverage. And he still comes down with it. This is why Mike Williams is so good. He just mosses people. That's what he does for a living. No wonder he makes so much money. Third and five on the 17. This is going to be a big play. Chargers need to get a first down as Conway. Looking for Mike Williams, who catches it but does not get the first down. James Brandstater on to kick. This one is for the lead. And his kick is up, and it is... No good! Off the crossbar... Only his second missed field goal of the year. And that was a chip shot, too. Second and four for New England. They're starting to chew the clock now. Uh, but they're still passing it. As Palmer looking for Gronk. Gronk has a first down. He fumbles it. And it's picked up by Jock with Stanley. Stanley's still not down. And he's down past the 50. Huge turnover there. The fourth giveaway by New England. Tredavious waste. White forced it, and the Chargers still have life. Field goal will work for the Chargers. It's growing down by one. And second down. Conway under pressure, and he's going to be sacked by Atlanta and Roberts. Absolutely no time to throw. Big play here. Third and 12. The camera was blurry there. As Conway looking for Robbie Anderson. Bad pass incomplete. Fourth and 12. This could be the game, but the Chargers do have all their timeouts. As Conway. He's going to look deep. One-on-one -on -one coverage, Robbie Anderson, incomplete. This is it, third and 12 of the 41. The Chargers are out of timeout, so they'll probably have at best about 40 to 50 seconds to drive down the field. As a handoff to Briscoe, and he gets laid out at the 45. New England is going for the field goal. This call makes zero sense. I have no clue what they're doing. The kick is up, and it is no good. Why on earth would the Patriots call that and the Chargers are already past the 50? I don't know what the Patriots are doing. They let the Chargers have good field position and then Derek Rivers had an unnecessary roughness penalty. So now the Chargers can just run the ball and then kick a field goal. This is it. Nine seconds left. James Brandstater for the win. The kick is up. And it is good. The Chargers take the lead with just five seconds remaining. This is it. One second left. Carson Palmer's just gonna have to lob a Hail Mary. And it will be incomplete. And the Chargers somehow miraculously win this game. I don't know why the Patriots did not punt it. And I don't know why they took the field goal. But the Chargers some way, somehow get the win. They had a gigantic 21-0 lead in the first quarter. They choked it away, but the Patriots made a few bad calls, and the Chargers end up winning an amazing game. Definitely the game of the year. Hey, hey, man.